Did you see the Bang Energy lawsuit? No, what's that about? Monster Energy wins $390 million false advertising verdict against rival Bang. Actually, I vaguely recall looking this up on stream at some point. Bang falsely advertised the ingredients and health benefits of its drinks. The jury credited Monster's claims that Bang's super creatine did not contain any actual creatine and Bang misled consumers about customers about its benefits. I can't believe this super creatine wasn't real. From a guy as trustworthy as the Bang CEO? What was his name again? The fuck is his name? Oh, Jack Owak. This I can't believe it. He seemed like such a trustworthy guy. All right, friends, I have a very, very serious topic here today. I need you to listen carefully. Not only is the message I have for you today, friends, super important, I also need your help to spread this message and to get everybody on board and to make it go viral. Don't worry, Jack, I'm here. Stop this madness now. Kirk Tanner is the CEO of PepsiCo North America. He has worked at Pepsi for over 30 years. During that time, Pepsi has pumped over half a trillion dollars of toxic pollution and plastic into our environment. So just how many animals humans have to suffer before Kirk Tanner and global CEO Ramon LaGuardia do something significant to stop. Somehow he actually has fans, which is crazy. But he seems like such a trustworthy guy. And it's so weird that the super creatine isn't legitimate. Fuck. WWE vibes from Jack. Nah, that man is unhinged. And not in like a fun way like uh, WWE where it's an act. Guy's just sad. Do I take creatine? Nope. I used to though. I don't take creatine anymore. At least not like creatine capsules or anything. Or powder. Thanks to Tier 1 Samurai. I'm the gifts of insanity and the bit snurt. Is there any reason you don't take it anymore? Uh, I just didn't like how I looked being that big. That was back when I like was big and I just looked like a stupid meatball because I was too short to wear the muscle properly. Uh, that and I also got really concerned about like liver stuff. At the time there wasn't a ton of research on it. Because you have to keep in mind it's been nine years now since I was cycling creatine. So still not super well understood at least in my circles and there's also talk about like how it affects hair loss and shit so all that compounded with just not really liking looking super big i just decided to stop so now i just get creatine the natural way like in foods or drinks i don't really take it anymore creatine's like a natural thing though you're gonna find it in most shit Thanks to the resub. Chambo and the Prime Bailey in Tier 1 Satanic. Not Bang Energy though. Yeah, apparently you won't find any creatine in Bang Energy. Eat and lift, that's all you need? Yeah, pretty much. You need a good diet as well, but yeah. Depending on what your goals are, just eating, lifting, you'll be fine. You don't need the supplements. Maybe protein powder if you really want to get kind of serious, but past that, it's not necessary. Though some of it does really help. Thanks to Prime Goozle. I'm going to give some crimson. Like, creatine absolutely works. 100%. 
that's kind of like just inarguable. Hear about the Pepsi bottle cap lotto in the Philippines? We actually just learned about that. Where like 600,000 people all won the lottery because they misprinted a losing number as the winner. So everyone had it. And it was life-changing amounts of money for like 600,000 people. That was so sad. Oh, wow, I didn't even read the rest of it. Wait, what the fuck? What is this? Holy shit, this guy is so unhinged. Oh my god. Apparently, the bang company forced their employees to attend a mandatory dance party to, prom to promote their Redline No Fusion product during the pandemic. Christ. What the fuck? Did it actually advertise itself like this? Where can I even find that? What do I type in to find this claim? Things of the resub meta chase and the prime jinx and tier one satanic. I don't know if I said that or not. Do super creatine all timers? Okay. Damn, this lawsuit's been going on for four years. I just want to see them make that claim. It's a video? Where, how can I find that video? Oh, here's Jack's statement. Watch the video carefully. I never claim Bang can treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I cite and quote the research from the historical scientific database where creatine amino acid peptides with a long chain fatty acid ester chemical attachment can readily cross the blood brain barrier with a 20 fold greater capacity than regular creatine. You stupid idiot, you don't you don't recognize how that's kind of uh, leading customers to believe that you're making the claim that it is also just that effective. And it apparently contained no creatine in the first place. Where's that video? The video is in the article? Like a, is it a hyperlink? Cause I don't see it here. In the first article. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. That's just a picture. Oh, here it is, this one. Son of a bitch. Okay, let me try and look it up. Is this it? This is it from Jack's channel. 
Welcome to the Bang Revolution, folks. We're doing a special episode Jesus. of the Supplement Showdown Jesus. in my house. I am Jack Owalk, CEO and CSO, which is the Chief Scientific Officer of Bang Energy. So let's get started. Now, in front of me, now you might have seen this video before. We're shooting the again to uh, make up, a little more modern yours, um, thing. We got better cameras, Nina, Risa, better Loki, cameramen, tier one better cam videographers, well. better Risa graphics. Stutter. And so we're reshooting this you, video. Stutter. It was an epic video because this video and what we did here changed the course of history in both the sports nutrition and beverage industry, the performance enhancing beverage industry forever. So pay attention, it's a great show. A lot of science here, but I make it simple so that you can build muscle fast and lose body fat fast. Now, we got uh, these the Dr. Oz those, approach. And in each vortex, I'm going to. How the fuck did Bang get big in the first place? I remember when they hit the scene, they were a fucking joke because this guy is such a weirdo. How are they so popular? I've only had like two bangs in my life. Like, they're not bad. I can't say that they're shit, but they're not good either. Was it all influencers? Hmm. Thanks for the resub, VK. There's a video called Only in America, The Bang Energy Story. Oh, is that like a full breakdown? Oh, and I want to watch uh, Jack Owok do some science here real quick. Drop five grams of creatine, five grams of L-leucine, and five grams of super creatine, which mm -hmm. is a compound that I chemically engineered and patented. Super creatine. Now you know you can Why, trust it. Why, folks? Because leucine increases mTOR, mammalian target or mechanistic target of rapamycin. It's involved in protein synthesis and muscle building. It's really exciting. And creatine, which suppresses 60% of myostatin. Myostatin is a regulator of muscle growth. And so if you can suppress it, you can take kind of the government. Man, Jack, the Jack knows his stuff. Muscle growth. And that's exciting, folks, because those two things in combination, in other words, suppressing myostatin and increasing mTOR have a powerful effect on muscle growth, muscle protein synthesis, and suppressing muscle and protein. And it turns out all down, of it's a lie. I can't believe work. it. Now, everything here is hormone and steroid free, but we learned a lot from that because they can exude great growth. Now, here we go, What's Jack's folks. background again? Didn't he have a failed startup at some point right before Bang Energy? He has a weird story from what I recall. No, I just want Jack. Does he not have a Wikipedia page? There's no way this guy doesn't have a fucking Wikipedia page. Are you serious? How? Fucking how? He made red line. What? I immediately hated how that website just loaded. That was highly unnecessary. Uh, I'm not going back there. Where can I just get- Did this guy just scrub his shit from the internet? There's no way a maniac like Jack Owok doesn't have a Wikipedia page. There is no fucking shot. He had to have had it removed. He was a high school science teacher. I just find that so hard to believe.
Oh, this is absolutely paid for by Jack. I just want like an actual write up on this man's life. He wrote this himself. Man, what the fuck? Things of Prime. Urality, Cringe, and Gabe. He's not real. Yeah, the man is like a little cartoon character. I know he did something before Bang that was really embarrassing, and I cannot remember what. Son of a bitch. Thanks, you resub. Wubba Wubba Doobie. That other video probably mentions it. Yeah, what was it? Only in America Bang Energy Story. Okay. Welcome to the Bang Energy Mansion. Hey, hey Jack. America. My name is Jack Owak. CEO and Chief Scientific Officer of Bang Energy. And this is my Only in America story. My name is Megaliz Owag, and this is my Only in America story. I went from... So I thought this was going to be an expose on Bang. I didn't realize that this is just Jack Owak and his li and his wife showcasing their their life. Again, this is like their fifth goddamn video of them just showcasing what a happy life they live. And forcing their kids to drink bang energy with every meal. How many of these videos does he pay for? Sleeping on an air mattress to becoming a global threat to some of the biggest beverage companies on the planet. This dude is huge behind him. To some of the big Holy shit, this guy is massive. Wow, he rolls around with a mountain. Average companies on the planet. I believe that it really and truly is the only country that, with just hard work, you can truly accomplish anything. I overcame all kinds of adversity to get where I am today. I went from sleeping on an air mattress to becoming a global threat to some of the Prove biggest it. average you companies didn't. on you the didn't. planet. You if just you didn't. I know you didn't. That's that, that relatable positive, CEO shit. exudes love and energy, and you're out there helping people, and Man, you, just makes you up just his create own fucking a product fanfic. that makes people feel good, people will want to work with you. People will want to be around you. That's what Bang Energy is. It's, it's just a product that makes you feel good. In this day and age, people are looking for something that makes them happy. So I was born in a really small town in the Midwest um, called Sylvania, Ohio. I definitely had a, a humble beginning. Like Meg, I was raised in the uh, Midwest. I was born in McKeesport, which is a city outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My entire life, I look back, I was leading and people were following. I graduated no, from you... the University of... This guy is like literal cap incarnate. I just know you weren't. I just know it. This man can't even for one second not be a douchebag. I also don't even think he was born in McKee, Pennsylvania, by the way. I just have a hunch he is making all of it up. Like, not a single goddamn thing is accurate. This man probably went into the witness protection program. They gave him a brand new identity. And he decided, I'm going to make a fucking energy drink company. And he did. And he still has to commit to the goddamn Jack Owak alias. That has a completely made up fabricated past. She had, like, a picture of her past, like, baby photos. He has nothing. He doesn't even exist on the internet. Past when he made bang, or before he made bang. I'm North Carolina at Greensboro with a bachelor's in arts and graphic design. I also was the captain of my dance team. I love dancing. It was definitely one of my major passions in my life. So, like my mother, I became a school teacher. I was teaching school for nine years. And at the end of the month, they would pay one time monthly. It's kind of rough. I knew that I was barely surviving on $1,900 a month. I told my dad, I go, look, I want to I uh, rent a store. I want to go into business. And so we found this little place that was 700 square foot. 
So what I decided to do Can I see a single picture? Feet is divided up the top 350 of you before you were 60 years old front and I would live in the back. We had so little money when we started $2000 and I told my dad only make the shelves one deep because we can only fit one product to make the store look full. After 2 weeks of operation, I took in $700 in one day. The business had 17 years of uninterrupted growth. So I this is to all a, a fucking The first lie. audition that I went to um, was the Miami Marlins. This dude lives a completely fabricated life and somehow accidentally fell into success. That is crazy. Jesus. I would love to know about Jack O'Walk's actual past. I really would. I, I really remember him trying something earlier before Bang, but maybe it's just a false memory. Or maybe that was the previous Jack O'Walk. And I did make that team. So I did that for a year. I tried out for the Florida Panthers, which is um, the hockey team here in Florida. And I cheered for that team for my last year. I got an opportunity to do a radio show the cool thing about this show is that it was actually sponsored by Jack's company. So my co-host, he he really encouraged me. He said, you know, I know the the CEO of the company, and I think Lasers he would really staged. love to see your videos and your photos. So he encouraged me to go on Facebook, find Jack on there, and start tagging him in all of my videos. He wrote back to one of my videos that I sent him or photos, and he said, hey, like, um, I love your video. Once again, and, this is po um, you know, we should. This is this is so weird. There is not, I have to, let me see. Jack Walk Young. Is this him when he was younger? Is this what he made? Vital Pharmaceuticals? Is this what I'm thinking of? Or is that the parent company of Bang? Fuck, I don't know. That might just be the parent company of Bang. This guy legitimately doesn't exist pre-bang. I don't know who this is, but that's not Jack. His younger photos would be black and white. This is so weird. <laughs> the man's just a straight mystery. He owns one of the most successful energy drink companies in the world. And he's an absolute unhinged lunatic that somehow doesn't have a Wikipedia page, a single photo of him young, a single article about him pre-bang, anything, any history of him young. What about, he said he was a teacher, right? He was a high school science teacher? Is there any way of confirming that? This, this legitimately could be D.B. Cooper. He's a bit story. Maybe. He's a prime toxic. He has five kids. Well, I know, and he forces them to drink bang. I've seen it. Bang Energy regularly attend T. TP USA conventions and shoot cash out of money cannons toward the audience to promote their company. Cool. I know they also pay like half naked women to promote it as well as like influencers. Damn, this is so weird. What a goofball. We should hang out, we should go on a date. When we finally did um, see each other for the first time, the next two weeks we were like completely inseparable. Him and I both are, are very Christian and we, we love God. Oh, and nice. we both knew that there was a very clear path for our life and, and we yeah, knew no, we I bet you guys have so much in common. great things for the Lord here on earth. One of the things when I met my wife, which was real interesting, she was a cheerleader for the Miami Marlins and the Florida Panthers. And I said, look, your cheerleading days are over. She was very sad for about five seconds. I said, now you're going to do what you were destined to do is you're going behind the scenes and you're going to teach all these young ladies 
how to be like cheerleaders, but they will be the marketing front of our company. <laughs> this Jesus is why America is so great. The ability Christian in America company, to by the way. Have nothing and earn Very Christian. A year can easily be achieved. America is a place where you can become a multimillionaire, even a multi-billionaire. America is still the greatest nation on planet Earth. I, w I would say my prized possessions of living in this country are my children. We are going to have our four fourth child very soon here. And I love the idea that my children can experience the entrepreneurship that my husband and I have experienced. I love the idea that I have the, the freedom to talk to them about Christianity. I have the freedom to send them to a Christian school. What does that have so to do with to see what they are going to become in this country because the You have to shield them from your husband's endless. ads, by the Our way. Our only in America moment is the fact that we can support the American dream by hiring and having over a thousand people on the payroll. We have so many people on the payroll and we're doing so well because America's doing so well. This could never be achieved anywhere else. When I first started working here at Bank Energy, this was the size of the marketing office. Now, this is the size of the marketing office here at Bank Energy. Only in America. Only in America. Only in America. Can you have a state-of-the-art facility like this? Only in America can you make the greatest products on planet Earth right here, right now, in VPX Bank's state-of-the-art facility. It's very important that we maintain our right to bless others with the gifts that Amen. God has blessed us with. Amen. My name is Megaliz Owak, and that was my Only in America story. I'm Jack Owak, CEO and Chief Scientific Officer of Bang Energy, and that was my Only in America story. Yes, sir. What an enigma. Not a single piece of information about this guy exists before Bang Energy. His claims about being raised in Pennsylvania or being a science teacher have yet to be corroborated. Is no one asking where he came from? And why he doesn't have a single picture of himself young? At all? Yeah, he's being sued right now, which is why we started talking about it. They just lost. They lost $293 million to the monster because Bang kept making the claim of super creatine. Turns out no creatine exists in their product. I am so fucking curious. Who was he before Bang? The only thing I could find that was... The only thing I could find was that he used to sell products with ephedra before it was banned by the FDA. He's a tier one tickle. The Prime Mini Q. How long ago? Jack was born 1961, but his parents and family are scrubbed from the internet. He owns Vital, which makes Redline Energy, Power Rush, and Bang products. I, I don't even care about Jack's family. Like, I just want to know, who was he? He claims he was a fucking teacher. That should be such an easy thing to, to corroborate. He said he was a high school science teacher for nine years. In order to be a science teacher, he also would have had to have get, gotten, like, a pretty good degree somewhere like these these should be easy but i can't find anything he taught me in high school i can vouch <laughs> thanks to the bits mac and the resub mason don't need a massive degree to teach high school but you need a degree uh, like, yeah, I guess you don't need, like, a great degree depending on the high school. You're not wrong. 
That may that might not be a good breadcrumb to follow. Yeah, he had to have changed his name at some point. That's that's the only explanation. Things are sub lottery. Things are bits tray. The resub Taylor. Things the prime Jimbo. His LinkedIn said he went to Florida Atlantic University. Let me see. Almost every university has a, like, um, here's famous people that went to this university thing. So I wonder if Florida Atlantic does. Because Jack would absolutely be there. But yeah, when you type in Florida Atlantic alumni Jack Owak, you get his LinkedIn where he makes the claim. But let's see, does Florida Atlantic University have a famous alumni list? They do. Okay, let's take a peek. Notable Florida Atlantic University alumni. This is from the uh, official site. So let's see. Is Jack Owak here? Because he would definitely be here. No, I just scrolled all the way through. Okay, maybe he asked not to be there. We can't see it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Did it up here. I'll just quickly scroll through. He's not here. I also decided to look at their pictures. This one's just like their main ones, like their big heavy hitters. So it spans like way back, like this one's all the way in 93. So like they do go back, but these are their biggest ones that they're like super proud of. And I feel like Jack would have absolutely made this list considering how incredibly popular and profitable Bang Energy is, but he's absent. Thanks, the resub unsalted. He went by John Owak and graduated from Miramar High School in 1981 in Florida. Let me take a peek. Miramar High School class of 1981. There's only <laughs> Are you sure? Cuz uh, I mean Walter White also came from this university. This seems uh unlikely. Maybe he went by Joel Irving back then. This doesn't seem like a super reliable source. Let's just let's make it a little more broad. So I see the write up that you found, but I don't see anything like that corroborates it. Because it, sa it says class of 1981 here, but when you try and get like any kind of info on it, there's nothing. This tells me that he could have very easily put this here himself. Like he's not in the class photo, unless this is the wrong class photo. Let me 
to. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going so fucking deep on this for some reason. I am just. I, I'm. I'm just in too far now. Thanks for the resub, Anya. Like, there, there should be at least just one photo of him young. But there's not. This is so weird. I mean, it's probably not even, like, nefarious or anything. I just don't really understand, because I've never seen this happen for someone as high profile as, like, a Jack Owak. Because this guy's been in the public eye for a long time. Like, he's not a private guy. He puts himself in the public eye often. Nineteen ninety three, Jack founded Vi Jesus. Nineteen ninety three, Jack Owak founded Vital Pharmaceuticals, the company manufacturer of several sports supplements and energy supplements. Top American brand in the supplement industry with the with a demonstrated history of success. He introduced Bang Energy under the brand name VPX in twenty twelve. Okay, so then let's here let's change our target. Let's look for Jack Owak circa nineteen ninety three with Vital Pharmaceutical launch. Instead of going back to like high school, how about 1993 Jack Owak, of which there's nothing. You would think for a company that has a demonstrated history of success from 1993 all the way to 2012 with the launch of Bang, you would think there'd be some kind of like photo of him shaking hands, cutting a ribbon, <laughs> not, not how pharmaceuticals work, but you'd think there'd be something. In, between, in all of that time. Because right now, when you look up Jack Owak 1993 Vital or like Vital Pharmaceuticals founding, you just get Jack's write-ups of himself. Nothing else. And then under30ceo.com, which is probably just Jack again. He was a nobody before Bang? No, apparently Vital Pharmaceuticals has always been a pretty big deal. At least according to Jack. <laughs> uh, let, let's just type in a date. Vi let's go, let's, let's stick in the 90s, let me see. Here's an article from 1997. Vital Pharma tackles new plant and new markets. The new facility won't be running until at least 1998. Oh, this this is not the same company. This is a different CEO. This is Baseman. Inle Unless... Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute, because this is South Florida. This is Vital Pharma. There's facilities in South Florida that all that checks everything. But this is not OWAC. This is Baseman. Hold on, let me look that up. His name is Harold Baseman. God damn it! It's one of those sites where you have to pay for the full article, so I only get. Chat told me one time. How do I get rid of this? Do I actually hold on? I'll turn off ad block for this. This is this is big. I think we're finally on to something. Oh my god, I still have to become a member to read the whole thing. I, I, get to, I saw the glimpse. This was made... Okay. I got the last name. It was Baseman. Harold Baseman.
Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Son of a bitch. What a crazy coincidence. There's a vital pharmaceuticals company also in South Florida that isn't Jax. And that's this one. Harold Basemans. Fuck. I really thought we were onto something. Son of a bitch. That, can't, that doesn't look anything like Jack, so it can't be him. There's a resub Toad, Hazel, and the Prime Ramen in Tier 1 Hillbilly. And the resub Krill. Lots and lots of plastic surgery. Yeah, maybe. Damn, I really thought we had it. I really did. I really did. John H. Owak, officer, registered agent, name list. No, that's, but that's not, like, I know he existed. He was a real person at some point, but there is no actual, like, photographic evidence that he was ever not a 60-year-old bang CEO. 